Hi guys, welcome to Make Studies. Today we will talk about relative humidity. So what is relative humidity? How to measure it? So we will learn all the basic details about relative humidity, equations, definitions, examples and how to measure it from the psychometric chart. So this is all about air. So this is the dry air and this is the water vapor or moisture. So this dry air and water vapor together makes the moist air. So this relative humidity is all about moisture or moist air. Let us try to understand. This is an enclosed container. It has moist air. It means it has gas like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, helium, neon, argon and water vapor. And the temperature we are keeping constant as if we change the temperature, the moisture content will be changed. If we remove the water, the air will be dry. Now what we'll do? We'll connect a pipe and we will supply moisture. See this is the moisture and air is absorb this moisture. So we say that air is unsaturated air as it can take this moisture. And again if we put some more moisture, see air is again absorb it. If we put more moisture, see this moisture, air cannot hold. So what happens? It precipitates at the bottom. So it means the air is becoming saturated condition and it cannot hold the moisture content. Now if we increase the temperature, what will happen? It will increase the gap between the gases. So it will create the space for moisture. So air has a property to hold the moisture content and here comes the relative humidity term is introduced. Let us try to explain it more clearly. So this is an enclosed container and we are putting gas and moistures into this container and water vapor in air is 20 gram and we have to find out the relative humidity of that air. Again we will supply moisture which will increase the water vapor. See it is 25 gram. Again we will provide some moist air into this container and it also increases the water vapor. Say it is 30 gram. Now if we provide more moist air, we see the air cannot hold this moisture. What happens? This moisture becomes water droplet and it is collected at the bottom of the container and the maximum water vapor the air can hold is 30 gram. Now from this water vapor in air 20 gram at the basic condition and water vapor the air can hold at this stage gives the relative humidity. Let's see. Now if we divide water vapor in air that is 20 gram and water vapor the air can hold that is 30 gram we will get the relative humidity it is in percentage so here it is 20 gram by 30 gram and it gives 66.67 percent so this is nothing but the relative humidity so we can define relative humidity it is a measure of how much water vapor present in a water air mixture compared to the maximum amount of water vapor can hold at a given temperature. Temperature should be mentioned in the definition of relative humidity as if we change the temperature then moisture content will be changed. Let's see the mathematical expression of relative humidity. It is denoted by phi. So phi is equal to how much water vapor present in the air divided by how much water vapor the air could hold at a given temperature. So it is MB that represents how much water vapor present in the air and MBS it represents how much water vapor the air could hold at a given temperature. It can also be written as the ratio of PV that is partial pressure 
of water vapor by PVS that is the saturation pressure of water vapor. Let's see the relative humidity in psychometric chart and it is indicated in percentage. This is a simple psychometric chart and see this is a ray diagram. We have simplified it for clear understanding. So these all lines are indicates relative humidity. See 20% relative humidity, 40%, 60%, 80% and this is 100% relative humidity or saturation curve. So it looks like this. Now we will see the relative humidity in actual psychometric chart. See these all are the relative humidity lines ranges from 10% to 100%. Now if you look the psychometric chart closely, you see this is a 10% relative humidity line. Let us try to understand with two simple examples. We will indicate relative humidity of 40% and 60% in a psychometric chart. So this is the simple psychometric chart. So this is the 40% relative humidity line in the psychometric chart and this is the 60% relative humidity line. Now one more thing we need to keep it in mind. For example, this is 20% relative humidity line. Now any point in this line will be 20% relative humidity only. So I hope we have learned the basics of relative humidity. Thank you so much. Please visit makestudies.com.